guys, welcome to Sampa's channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Yo, what's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are living right. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So in today's video, I decided I need to upload a video. I need to make a vlog. So I decided to visit the Chilenje House National Monument here in Lusaka, Zambia, in the Chilenje area. Most people call this the Old State House, but today I actually learned it's not the Old State House. And I also go to learn about a whole bunch of different things and how the first president, Kenneth Gawanda, lived here at this house. So let's watch this video until the end. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys get some knowledge from it. So I met this tour guide who let you run me through every single thing. So you guys enjoy the conversation and the art behind it. So this is a light, this is the house he lived in from 1960 yeah, to 1962. He, he lived here from 1960 to 1962. Uh -huh. Then the British uh, colonial government had conducted an uh, election of which three political parties had participated into that election. Um, there was United Federal Party, which was for the British people as well, British uh, government, African National Congress, ANC, under Harimangan Kumbula, and the United Nations Independence Party UNIP. So three political parties participated in two, that uh, election of 1962. So Kaunda came number two as that election were announced, meaning okay. that the British government were the winner. Now, the way they won that election, it was in two already division because yeah. they were into the system. Yeah. So them, they won the capital. Because they controlled the system already. Yeah, they were controlling the system already. Yeah. Then they won also the Copper Land, Copper Belt Province. Ah, that's the they only thing they're interested the, in. They won also the Ah, But Teresa. Livingstone, it was shared by African National Congress, ANC. Ah. Oh. Therefore, count up. So among the nine children we see in that picture, six are still alive. Uh, three have passed away. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you want also their names? Yeah, their names would be valuable. Okay. So their names, I'll mention their names like the way they were born. Oh, from, from, from first to last. To the last. You have a lot of information. Yeah. So the first born, we uh -huh. call him Kane Opanji Kaunda. Okay. Yeah, because he was, uh, he was in the army. He was in the army. Okay. And then uh, he's still alive. Yeah, he's yeah, an ambassador Kaunda, yeah. in Malawi. Second born, Waza Kaunda. He's a medical doctor by profession. Okay. He's also alive. Third born, Where's he Kaunda? Now this one he was also in the army. He died as a major. Major Where's he Kaunda? So that one was assassinated in 1999 due mm -hmm. to politics. Yeah. The number fourth born, Tirienji Kaunda. Tirienji. Tirienji Kaunda is uh, still alive as well. Uh, former UNIP president. Oh. Fifth born, Masuzio Kaunda. That's the son who died from HIV and AIDS. Okay. That number fifth born. The number six, that is Kaweche. Mm -hmm. Kaweche is still alive. That's the son who looked after his father the last days that Kaunda lived on earth. Yeah, okay. Then seventh born, Musata Kaunda, the girl now. That seems bigger. That's the seventh born, Musata Kaunda. 
they stay in Zimbabwe, she's still alive. Okay. Then the last born, the two were born as twins. Oh. The youngest one. Oh, those two young and ones were seen there. Uh, those are twins, and they were born on 15th of February 1964. That means the, the same year, day, the same year. The year that they got independence. Won election to form government as independents. That's when they also. Ah. So the one interesting. Was by the, the father himself. That is Cheswa Kaunda. Cheswa. She's still alive. Uh, she works at uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Twin okay. brother, he passed away early 2022. Okay. After an His name is Kamba, was Kambarage Kaunda. Kambarage Kaunda, yes. okay. So you can come and you are pushing it. Oh, we can. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this was Mr. Mwemba showing me around uh, the properties which he lived and basically just giving me the detailed explanations of everything around the house wow. so as the government they have kept everything the tourism sector minister of uh, tourism and the national heritage conservation these are real furniture that we are keeping here can i sit used by dr Kaunda. can i sit no city ah come on i wanted to get some of that spiritual <laughs> vibe huh who knows who knows yeah who knows might be the next one who knows we never know I wish I had to see it out of you know. So you you, you didn't see the, the dining table. That's the picture. Ah, this you is oh it. yeah, this is a picture. But you guys changed. Yeah. Ah, it's the same. It's the same. Only this one is which is an additional chair. But oh, this one is, here. Is kept, yes. Okay, I see. Mm. This is Look beautiful. Look at where he was playing guitar. Uh, where? Which which, which picture? picture? This picture. This here. picture here. So you also look at uh, the chair. This is the chair they were seated on. Ah, here he's with Queen Elizabeth yes. II. So this was 1983. Before the independence. No, it was, we had already oh. independent. Wait, so what, Kaunda, what year was it? 1983. 83, okay, I had 53. 1983. Okay. Oh, he, had, he had met her, eh? Yes. He As had met the queen, her. She was the first one to, to come. This lady took long. This one, she, she died last year. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this was Kaunda's main house where you guys are seeing the furniture still intact. It's still the same furniture that they used. And uh, they had a whole bunch of different pictures of different presidents and political figures in that room, properly preserved. This was the main bedroom. So Dr. Kaunda and his wife would sleep here. Interesting. That's the real... Bed, That's the real bed, everything. Mm -hmm. I, I can walk here? Yes. Ah, oh, the guitar is still there. No. Ha. Ah, the case. I would have been shocked. The, the guitar, uh, it has been taken to uh, Livingston Museum. Museum. Mm -hmm. But how much would the case sell for? Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Who would I have to offer? Because this, you know, like I love keeping things of heritage uh -huh. because they always create value but around the, the people they need. Them. Want to keep. But if the government won't offer, who will? I bet they haven't offered yet, <laughs> have they? <laughs> yeah, no. Exactly. So I'll have to find out. <laughs> now I'm very serious, just in case you think I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very serious. I'm very serious. This is beautiful. This is nice. Jim was so in Jim was on Kara Bakaunda. The other bedroom. Oh, wow. I think we're supposed to walk in here without shoes, man. I'm just it's telling bad. you. Yeah. Pan used to live here, and on this bed, he used to sleep. Does he come here sometimes? Yes, he do. He does? Yeah. Nice. Interesting. I bet it, it gives him memories there. He brings his friends sometimes when he's in the country. Because mm -hmm. uh, he was just recently when he was appointed as mm -hmm. ambassador. Yes. During Edwidge's time. Yes. I remember that time. In the kitchen. So just a two bedroom? This is the two bedrooms, yes. Oh, but there are a lot of houses, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys refer to this as the old state house or just the place he lived? No, uh, it's just the place he lived. So this is not no, the old state house? It's not an old state house. On that the black people, we call it old state house. Ah. As because that time the country was under the British people. As I see. People. So this was the man 
whom they would consider that he is the president. Mm -hmm. Whatever cry they would want, they would cry the, 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 so the, 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 they, would, they would also use the protest way of campaigning to telling the British people. Yeah. These sports are supposed to be very exclusive by now. My grandma mm -hmm. has some. He'd be like... Zambians, we should understand heritage. This is very good. Yes. This is beautiful. Okay, let's let's go check out the other ones. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is where okay. have you seen where that house which is out of the fence? Out of the fence? Out of the fence. Oh this one here. Light is on. Yes, 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 I can see that one. That one there. Yeah. That house is uh was occupied by Harimwan Gankumbra. Oh, they were just neighbors. They were just neighbors. So Harimwan Gankumbla's Africa National Congress president. Mm -hmm. Then the next house which has been turned to be the office. The blue one? No, not that one. This one. Inside now. Oh, inside. oh the one that's inside yes. now. Okay. Mm -hmm. That one was occupied by Wilson Shakuria. I never saw him in my history books. So was he? Wilson Shakuria was one of the freedom fighters and he worked with Wakaunda in the second cabinet. Ah, then interesting. Dr. Kenneth Kaunda here. Yeah. Where are we going? House number 395, occupied by Adam Brand. He was a businessman mm -hmm. who channeled his resources to support the politics of Kaunda. Nice. Well, was he was he Zambian, British? He was a Zambian, so he just channeled his resource to. Ah, this one was a businessman. This one, he had tells in his in his house. <laughs> we have just improved it. You just improved it. Yes. Ah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Then I'm putting this information, which. Okay, let me just. Um, yeah. You said, uh, they, this one was owned by who again? Adam Banda. Adam Banda. Yes. Do you have any information of him anywhere? Adam Banda is, we have tried to request for information about him with the family, mm -hmm. but they are yet responding. And they're just out of the country, overseas, somewhere. Yeah, but most of his children now, they are doing well. They're doing well? Yes, only one, uh, two, who are in the country. Yeah, most obviously. Are abroad. A business, businessman that helped Zambia get its independence. Those are people that you don't find anyhow. I bet they just know that they've got roots back home. Yes. But, you know, outside it's very beautiful. When you go, people don't like to come back. <laughs> you know, now I'm just being honest. It's, it's really see, true. This is what I mentioned. Ah, this one here. These were the three. But this was not fair though. In your own perspective, do you think it was? I don't think he was even supposed to be to be there. The ground, we do. Yeah, because uh, education for the black people it was far. It was very far. Very, very far. Do you have any idea how Kaunda and his friends managed to get so educated and so profound that they had to stand against these people? Doctor Kaunda, his father, he was connected to be to into missionaries. Oh, he was a missionary. Yes, actually, a reverend in the. Scottish Missionary Church. Makes sense. So they came from Nyasaland, the one we call Malawi today. Malawi, yeah. yeah. Locating to Northern Rhodesia, Zambia. Yeah, Zambia today. Then Kaunda, that's where now he was born. So Kaunda was the last born of his, uh, his family. It makes so much sense. It and, makes uh, so much sense. So when he was born as Kaunda, his parents were all aging, were old enough. Yeah. And they couldn't expect to have another child Yeah. among the children they had. Yeah. After he was born, they named him as Kuchizia, meaning unexpected. Serious? Yes. So that was the middle name of Kaunda. Kaunda. Busizia. 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 Yeah. Unexpected. Unexpected. So Kaunda was, um, start from here. This is one of the letters he wrote. Kaunda. The second jail term where he served nine months, how he was arrested. So we typed this into that is the original letter. Mm, these things would fetch for millions. 
how I was arrested. He narrated it, huh? Yes. I'll go read these through. You know, it's nice to just learn about your culture. Yes. You know? Us as future presidents, it's a must. Hmm. There'll be somebody on my YouTube channel that's going to find this so valuable. Mm -hmm. You know? So this was the money we used way back. I've never even seen some of these notes before. We retransitioned. How did the system of money come about here in Zambia? Do you have any idea? The system, what I know is uh, this of the British money. Yeah. Then, if you look at it, there is a bank of Rhodesia and Nyasaland. Malawi and Zambia. Malawi, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Oh. To rename the system. Yeah. As most of our languages, when we say in the morning before the sunrise, we we'll say Kwacha. Quite, huh? yes, oh, quite Oh, uh, it's morning, right? Eh? Then it's morning. That is yeah. morning. Then they, they also put the difference, which were the coins. Yeah. The coins were had the name like Ngwe. Ngwe. Kwacha Ngwe. Ngwe. Meaning now, the Ngwe is when the sun rises to give brightness. Oh, wow. That is Ngwe. Do you know one thing I've learned about money? on a personal perspective, right? Mm -hmm. You see, here, these notes are centuries, or not a century, but they get old, right? Yes. And if you look at even this one, the old British pound, one dollar British pound, it still says, uh, pay the barrier, what is this? pay the barrier, what is, I promise to pay the barrier on demand. Yes. Now, when I go back in history, the history of money, right? Mm -hmm. Like, these papers had no value back in the days. What they used to exchange was the mineral. But this was kind of collateral or reassurance that you're going to pay. Yes. That's why it's written that. Mm -hmm. Is that true or false? Or did, did you know that? No, I didn't know. Yeah, if that's something you should put there. So oh, these guys scammed us. They scammed us hard. Because would have been very rich because it was like we're giving them paper money things that they could just print anyhow while they got the resource they got the resource yeah that was what was valuable you see that's why i'm going to be the next president hmm? but i hope what i'm saying is making yes, sense to you because yeah, yeah. that that is what it is because i have with my study money is something that i've taken personal not because i want it but because i've always wanted to understand it you understand yeah so I feel that's knowledge that everybody must have here exactly. in this country. Mm. Okay, you can go. Yeah, so these are some of the pictures which we have picked to show way back to how it used to look like. Yeah, on the elephant so houses. There's this house. Before he could move to this house, mm -hmm. he lived in this house. And where is this house located? Well, we can't see it from here, but it's nearby. Did somebody buy it or do somebody something? Somebody uh, had bought it during Chibuba time. Nah, mm -hmm. so it's, it's no longer there. Mm -hmm. No city tenants. Okay. Oh, the way Chibuba did, yeah, yes. yeah, the PHI yes, yes. and so on. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. My mom might put so a house government, there. government through council. Council, the government was rich through council. Very, very rich. Because even those are like to pay workers. Mm -hmm. It was not difficult because yeah. they used to ra raise revenue through the houses. Just through houses, right? Huh? Yes, through yeah. houses. But that was a good initiative, if you ask me. It was a presidential in in something initiative. That was very, it was a good initiative by Chiloba. Yes. Because a lot of people had the rights to their own property now, you know. And they were cheap. Yes. Very affordable. And then we had Chiloba as second president there. Interesting. After Chibuba had uh, 
when I ask. This is the era he passed on. Okay, in your own understanding, was it much of a struggle for for Kaunda to say he got independence? Or maybe, because, I mean, the way we thought about it, maybe growing up or maybe in school, huh? in high school, you just know what they teach us in school. Um, it looked like these people went to war. Maybe, the, well, was there a war? Like in Zambia, there was nothing like a war. Exactly. but there was nothing like a war. Exactly. From what yeah. I've understood today, I can tell there's nothing. The only bloodshed, maybe, would say it was during 1961 mm -hmm. when they engaged into this debt, the government of the colonial. Ah. They used that cha 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 campaign. That was the only bloodshed which has been uh, occurred okay. in Zambia. Because the black people now, they were to disturb the colony of the government to cross the, some major roads, burning of bridges. Mm -hmm. Now the police, when we are taught now to react, to stop violence, of burning of bridges, schools, mm -hmm. crossing of roads, mm -hmm. uh, using stones. Yes. So they wanted also to, to put fear on the people that uh, they were engaged now to shoot other people, to kill them. A lot uh -huh. of them had been killed and uh, some of them were sentenced to prison. Yeah. So that was the only bloodshed. Wow. Now, 1961. So when they were engaged as black people, what they wanted as these leaders, they wanted to be engaged to sit on the dialogue table. Yeah, with them. Huh? With them, yes. yes. So after they have sat now, they have been, they have telling these British to say, what we want is it? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Yes. Then now, how are we going to reach on that point? Okay, let's go for democracy way of people to choose. Mm -hmm. So the first democratic election was 1962. Oh, interesting. Ah, now that you've said it, I bet this is a new history lesson. Yeah. Because the way they have written it in the books is just wrong. You know? Mm -hmm. It's definitely wrong. It looks like we went for war, you know what I mean? That's how it looks like in the yes. history books, but it's, it, that's not the case. That's, that's not the and case. Uh, our independence, it was different with uh, the South African one. Yeah, the, the army was out of fight. Yes. They were, they were, they were already there. Like, I don't, the reason South Africa is so developed, I feel, is because they did not chase the British. Yes, yes. Yeah, like, even, uh, even Zimbabwe. Mm, Zimbabwe, I would, I would bet to differ a bit. I don't know the information. Zimbabwe, you when, when you you compare Zimbabwe and the Zambia, because... The real thing. Mm -hmm. So you can run me through the, this so one the, now. The vehicle you are seeing here, mm -hmm. uh, it was a donation from uh, one of the white, uh, the British man, mm. who supported Kaunda. His name was uh, Leverend Mervin Temple. You see, Kaunda, the connection of the the Christianity the church. church. Yeah, yeah. He used most of most of his now. Uh, he used church. He used church. So this was the vehicle which is standing. It has been given to Kaunda in 1959. 1959. 1960, when he took over presidents of UNIP, mm -hmm. uh, he had already a vehicle. Wow. And this vehicle was also used to campaign. Easier movement for them mm -hmm. to go for campaign. And uh, the way it used to run among the vehicles which were there. Oh. It had a different uh, sound, really? which made the supporters of UNIP oh. gave it a nickname. They used to call it Mama UNIP. Mama UNIP. Mother, a brrr. Of, mother of UNIP. <laughs> so wherever it is coming from, you would know. Before seeing it, yeah, you just hear the sound. You say, okay, yeah, buera. Yeah, buera, but uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, it looks so interesting. Uh, it has been bent by movement for more democracy democracy supporters. It, it was bent? Yes. In 2014, the government had restored it to look the way it looks. They have even got no tires. So the moment you sit, it shows you that it runs now. Oh, it can run? It can still run. No way. Yes, it can still run. What is it going to take for me to start it? Uh, for you to start it, it has to you have just connect, disconnect the battery. There is no battery. The pure tank has to disconnect the battery. Mm -hmm. So once you replace those, Oh, those haven't been replaced yet. Yeah, no. Ah, they should replace that. This, okay, this is a national okay, monument. This is the engine. This is the engine. I don't even know what kind of engine this is. This is interesting. Mechanism then 
it was very simple. Ah, it, it looks very simple. Huh? Very simple. Now I've looked at a V8 car. It's so much going on, but so with this, connection. you can even count the this cables. Hmm? So cars maybe were very easy to make back then. Huh? <laughs> Cars were very easy to make. When I to use the ah, it's people. So you can also open the inside. Nice. So even this one, I can sit. Ah, this one I can sit. I had quite the nice sunroof. Not the car back. I wonder when we run it. Ah, if this thing was not so, I would buy it and keep it. Ha! This is the best so. Oro and the man. Yeah. You take a picture? Yes, I've taken. <laughs> First president's house. Nice. And you know, I've passed by this house several, several thousand times, you know, but today I thought, let me just go there and basically, you know, learn about the heritage. And you see, a long time ago, these people really used to make good cars because this car is fully metal. 